This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this flat matte sort of look that you see on Instagram when you use filters on the site and it's sort of a really trendy look that you see on social media these days and I think it's a pretty cool effect. To, to give you an idea of uh, how it looks. I'm going to turn off this layer and show you what the, the uh, image originally looked like. And that's what the image originally looks like. So I'm going to show you how to take a normal standard image like this and add that flat matte sort of look, almost sort of like a 60s kind of look using GIMP. And if you'd like to know how you can make uh, how you can update GIMP with these custom icons, I'll have a link to that information in the description. And I will also have a link to this image as well if you'd like to follow along with this tutorial. So go ahead and follow that link and open up that image with GIMP and we'll be good to get started. So the first thing we want to do in GIMP is uh, I, I usually think it's a good idea to create a copy of the original. So I'm just going to click on that first layer right there and I'm going to click this button that says create a duplicate of the layer and add it to the image. It's usually, a, you don't have to do this, but it's usually a good idea to have a duplicate copy of the original image in case you go too far down the rabbit hole and you don't want to uh, undo a whole bunch of things. You could just go back and grab the original image and I'm just going to turn off the visibility for that layer for now. And we'll have the new layer up top here. And the first thing I want to do to create this effect is soften up the shadows of the image. If you notice where the black parts are and the darker, uh, the darker uh, areas are, we're going to go to colors and we're going to choose curves. And uh, let me grab that window. It went into my other monitor. There it is. Um, with that menu open, I'm going to come down here to the shadows down here at this bottom left node. And I'm just going to click and drag that up a little bit. And let me move this over and you can see what's happening to the image while I do that. It's taking those dark shadows and making them gray. So that's the first part to this tutorial is we want to soften up those shadows. And I want to take this part of the line right here and just click and drag that down a little bit. And that's going to help balance out the rest of it. And I think that that alone looks pretty good. If you toggle off the preview, you can notice that alone gives us a lot of the effect that we're looking for, but we still have more to go. If you want, you could even experiment with this top this top part of the line up here. If you want to create an S, maybe do something like that. I think that looks good as well. Uh, let me toggle that on and off to see how that looks. Maybe a little less. It really depends on the image you're using, but for this particular image, I think these settings right here look pretty good. I'll go ahead and click OK to finalize that. And the next thing we want to do is get rid of some of these colors because the main color here is blue. I want to I want to soften up some of these green colors. There's too much too much color going on here. If you notice here in the original image, it's a very flat sort of look. So inst instead of just lowering the saturation on everything, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to color and uh, hue saturation, and I'm going to choose. Let me move this off to the right so you can see the image while I edit it. I'm going to choose the color yellow. And where it says saturation, I'm going to bring that down a little bit to the left just to soften up that all that vibrance back there. I'm just going to bring that down. I'll take the overlap and bring that all the way to the right. And then I'll do the same thing with the red. I'll bring that down a little bit as well. Maybe not all the way, but just maybe to like negative 70 or something like that. And then finally, we'll do the same thing with the green. We'll lower that a little bit. And you may want to play around with this a little bit depending on the image you're using. But for this particular image where we're focusing on the color of the car here, these settings are pretty good. Uh, if, 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 for example, you wanted to add more green to the image, you could slide this all the way to the right and so on. You'd, and in that instance, you'd want to bring the yellow up as well in order for, to make it pop more. But for the green, I'm going to bring that down to like negative 38. And that right there looks pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And let me turn on the visibility of this layer. I'll turn off the visibility of, of what we just did over here. And you notice we're pretty much, uh, we're, we're getting pretty close, but we're not quite there yet. So what I want to do now is I want to add some blue to these shadows. So to do that, I'm going to go to colors, levels, and uh, where it says channel, I'm going to click on that drop down and choose blue. And down here where it says output, I'm going to take this arrow down here, this little selector to the left. And I'm going to bring that to the right a little bit. And that's going to add some blue into those shadows. It's going to add blue into the entire image, actually. But uh, just, just try to drag it to the right a little bit. Try to eyeball it and see what looks good. We don't want too much like that. We don't want to go overboard. Then again, we want to add. We don't want too little. We want to add some in there. And for a reference point, you can toggle the preview on and off to see how it looks. And I'd say right there is pretty good. We got a little bit of a blue hue on the rest of the uh, image. So to that, I'll go ahead and click OK to finalize that. 
And one final step would be to balance out that blue a little bit. So to do that, I'm going to click on this button that says create a new layer and edit to the image. And I'll just choose transparency, go ahead and click OK. And I want to change the foreground color. You can just click on your color right here, your foreground color. The shade I'm using is like a very light, dull yellow, almost like a tan. The HTML notation is F9, F7, C2. So you can try to create something similar to that, or you can just use the exact same code I used here, F9, F7, C2. Go ahead and click OK. And once we've done that, I'll go to Edit and Fill with Foreground Color. And that's going to fill that in. And what I'll do now is where it says Mode, I'll change the mode to Multiply. And you can then adjust the opacity of that layer accordingly. So if you bring it down a little bit, um, I think it actually looks pretty good all the way up depending. It really depends on how much blue you added to the image. So based on how much blue I added, I think uh, I'll leave it at 100. Maybe I'll bring it down to like 90, 91.8. That looks pretty good. And with that said, we have pretty much finished the effect. And for reference, you can go back to the original duplicate copy of the image and bring that to the top. Click and drag it to the top and you can see if you toggle off the visibility, you'll see there is quite a difference between the two. We have, effect, we have uh, created that flat matte Instagram filter sort of effect using GIMP. So that's how you can go about doing that. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank you.